Hello and welcome to your Melissa Moments. So let's talk Facebook as we do. I ran into an interesting situation uh, last night with a quote Facebook friend, end quote. And I say Facebook friends because this person that I had the situation with is a friend of mine on Facebook, but like many of our friends on Facebook, she isn't what I would actually describe as a friend, if you will, more of an acquaintance. You know, like if I was out on the street and our paths crossed, we would probably do a quick, hey, how's it going? But I don't really think either one of us would stop and have a lengthy conversation, you know? So uh, more of an acquaintance than a friend. Anyway, she decided to post. Um, it wasn't even really, uh, it, it was a screenshot of a news article. So it wasn't even a link, so you couldn't read anything. It was just a screenshot of the heading. And the heading was, Canadians with mental illness should be eligible for assisted death. Feds agree. So that was the screenshot. And her comment above it was, This is sad with an unhappy face. And that's all she had posted. So I read her comments and I read the news article comments and like most news articles, they can be very misleading, right? The job of a journalist is to have titles that want to draw people in to read the article, right? So a lot of times, it's like clickbait, clickbait, if you will, right? It's just, there's some trigger words in there. There's some things like, oh, what's this? I got to read the whole thing. But what's interesting is I find a lot of people on Facebook, especially, they post or share lots of articles and links, but a lot of people don't actually read the article or the link before they share it or post it. They just see the heading and they're like, oh, I got to share that right now. So I don't know. I don't know if she read the article. I don't know if she just saw the headline. I'm not sure. And there was about six or seven comments to it from some of, you know, her friends or whatever. And every single one of them was outraged. Oh, my God. So sad. Everyone needs to write letters to their MP. I've already written a letter to my MP. I can't believe they would do this. And I'm like, did I miss something? I don't know. Like, I I read the article and I reread the heading. And I'm like, why is it sad? Is it sad that there's people with mental illness? Like, is that what she's alluding to? Oh, this is so sad. People have mental illness. Or is she sad because she doesn't agree with assisted death? You know, like she didn't give a lot of context. She just said, this is sad. And I'm the first one to admit that Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone has a right to their own opinion. Everyone understands things differently. People interpret information differently, right? I I mean, 10 people could read one article and there could be 10 different outlooks on that article. It happens. And I think that's good and I think that's healthy that people have different opinions and outlooks. What I don't think is healthy is when people choose to be close-minded, when people refuse to talk 
to someone else that has a different opinion. Like, we should all be adults, right? Last time I checked, I'm a 40 fucking year old adult, and I should be able to have a calm conversation with another adult about any topic without people getting defensive, without people being closed-minded. I personally like to ask questions when I come across someone that has a different opinion than me. I like to know how they are taking that information and how they are internalizing it and how their opinion of it came to be. I'm not saying I'm going to agree with them, but I like to know how other people feel about things. And I think that's healthy. But I wanted to approach her in a comment and say, hey, what did you mean? But I have to be careful with doing that. Because as you know, on Facebook, people like to post tons of shit. And they love when people write comments that agree with them. But as soon as you write a comment that is different than theirs, they get defensive and they turn into a real fucking cunt, right? That's what happens. Because in the past, I have basically said, what do you mean? Or I don't understand why this is sad. And then they would jump down your throat and you're a horrible person, right? And you'd have all these other keyboard warriors ganging up on you because, oh my God, you're going after the original poster, blah, 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 right? And here I am just trying to have an adult conversation. That's all I'm trying to fucking do, people. That's it. So I had to be careful with how I approached this. And I'm like, hmm, you know, memes are fun, right? Everyone likes a good meme, Most of them are cute, lighthearted, usually humor to it, right? So I'm just going to post a meme. And I found a meme. (laughs) I'm sorry, this is funny. I found a meme with Thor, right? Everyone knows Thor, right? And all it said was, is it though? And I thought it was super cute. So I posted that, right? Hoping that that would be, you know, kind of a cute way in to start a conversation. How wrong I was. (laughs) Her reaction was not to respond, not to send me a message, Not to start a conversation as a rational adult human being. She decided to block me. That's right. (laughs) She went straight for the block. And it's like, really? Okay, so that's what you chose to do. You go straight for the block. And I'm like... I found that a little bit of an overreaction on her part, honestly. But you know what? Whatever. It doesn't bother me at all. It just means I have one less fucking Facebook wall I have to read through on a daily basis, which is usually full of unnecessary crap anyway. So really, she did me a favor. But I'm like, why can we not have a conversation anymore? Like, it's ridiculous. And I'm like, you know what? This is probably a one-off. This is probably, whatever. It's just a one-off, right? So honestly, I didn't think about it at all. This happened last night. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I could care less. Like, (laughs) bye-bye. And then today, (laughs) today is supposed to be pink shirt day, right? Or anti-bullying day. Or be kind to everyone day, right? We wear pink shirts to remind us that We should be kind to everyone because you don't know what they're going through and all that kind of stuff, right? So my daughter is in kindergarten. They did a big fundraiser for pink shirts. So 
uh, we bought some pink shirts for the family. So myself, my daughter, my husband all had these same matching pink shirts. We all wore them today. I took her to school. I'm home cleaning the house, doing my thing. And my husband calls me. And I don't know, guys, is, is it the pandemic that has caused everyone to fucking go nuts or what? But he ran into a similar situation today. But the difference is, instead of it just being a, quote, Facebook friend, end quote, this was actually someone that he has known for like 15 years Okay, so like this is this person goes back a long fucking way. This my my husband called this person a friend. My husband called this person a mentor. My husband looked up to this person and took their advice to heart and really thought that they knew their stuff and they were smart and a good person to go to for guidance and, you know, the whole thing. So anyway, If those of you who don't know, my husband is a stand-up comedian. He has been for like 20-some years. This friend knew that and also knows that my husband uses humor a lot in almost every single situation. And this person had posted on their wall, and I'm not 100% sure of the details of this whatever. But apparently there's this big ban or talking about banning all kinds of guns, including um, like recreational guns, if you will, like paintball guns, laser tag guns, anything that's a gun they want to get rid of. And he basically, this person put on his wall something to the effect of Man, they're really trying to target the paintball players or the laser tag players, right? And I mean, that in itself is hilarious, right? Because as, as my husband's telling me this, I'm, I'm laughing in my head because I'm like, they're trying to target. That's funny because in paintball, that's what you do is you target the other players. So that's like a big play on words. And my husband also noticed that and he thought that was funny. So he put a comment about that as a play on words about, yeah, well, they are targeted, right? Just trying to be funny. And then after he put that first comment, the joke comment, he thought about it and he's like, ooh, someone might take that the wrong way. So he actually went and put another comment underneath it saying something like, sorry, couldn't resist the play on words. Uh, I honestly have no, you know, opinion on this matter for or against. I just saw the play on words and thought it would be funny to, to mention it. Right? I mean... Unlike me, who just put a meme out there, he went back and he kind of clarified that he wasn't trying to be disrespectful. He was just trying to be funny. Well, guess what, people? (laughs) This friend of 15 fucking years blocked him. That's right. 15 years and he blocked him. Didn't respond to his comments. Didn't send him a message. Didn't call him. Didn't nothing. Just immediately, boom, you're blocked. And my husband's like, I think he blocked me. So my husband texted his friend and said, did you block me? And this person responded with, yes, sir, I did. And that was it. That was the response. So immediately my husband calls this person. He's like, well, fuck, like, dude, let's talk about this. I didn't mean to offend you, right? So he calls this person. Excuse me. Guess what, guys? Straight to voicemail. That's right. This so-called friend of 15 fucking years couldn't take a phone call to talk about this situation. I don't know about you, but I find that really fucking childish. Like, communication and being open-minded and hearing others' points of view and others' opinions, all of that, doesn't that help us evolve as a person, as a society, right? I just feel like everyone's throwing that out the fucking window. And everyone's got this mindset of, 
well, if you don't fucking agree with me and you have a different opinion, no, oh, uh -uh, uh-uh, mm-mm, sorry. There's no room for that. God forbid. Different opinion. Whoa, no. Like, come on, really? Really? Straight for the block. I don't get it. I honestly don't. And it makes me wonder, where is society headed? If we're at a point where we can't even talk to someone about any subject, I don't know, guys. Like, what's the fucking point? What is the point anymore? I just don't understand why people can't talk to each other anymore. Like, has has this whole pandemic got everyone so familiar with just being on social media, just being at home on their phones, not actually interacting with a person one-on-one, face-to-face, that they forgot how to do it? Or, Or does this have nothing to do with the pandemic at all and people just, for whatever reason, are just being stupid? <laughs> like, I honestly don't know. But one thing I do know is that it is fucking childish. And people need to grow the fuck up. Talk to people. Ask questions. Don't be defensive. Don't be a jerk. Like, why can't someone have a different opinion than you? Why can't someone maybe have a misunderstanding? Or misinterpret information. Like, honestly. Like, it's just... Like, my mind is blown on this. Like, what happens... Let's say... Let's just say one of these people who blocked me or blocked my husband. What if they... I don't know. What if they took an Uber somewhere, right? And the Uber driver knows where they're supposed to go. But as they're driving to their destination, they realize, well, shit, the Uber driver is not going the right way. Like, this isn't the way I told them to go. Like, what are they going to do? Are they just going to sit there in silence until the Uber driver pulls over and lets them off at the wrong destination? Then they're going to get out of the car and they're immediately going to go to the fucking review page and they're going to give them zero stars and say, they completely took me in the wrong direction. They didn't even drop me off where I was supposed to go. Or are you going to be in, in the back seat going, um, excuse me, excuse me, um, I don't believe you're going the right way. I'm supposed to be going here and that's the other direction. In which case, the Uber driver would probably say, oh, I'm so sorry, that's not the direction, you know, that's not the location that was uh, in the app here. I'm so sorry, let me turn around and take you to where you want to go. Like, that's a conversation, people. That That's <laughs> a conversation where talking and listening is, in, you know, involved. <laughs> like... I don't get it. Why is it so hard to have a conversation? Why is it so hard to talk to someone instead of just immediately getting offended, immediately getting defensive? Like, come on. It's time to grow the fuck up, people. And that's been your Melissa Moment.